So welcome to the second episode of the best laptop setups video. The first one was an absolute success and I just wanna thank you guys for taking the time to watch it. With that being said, if you want this to continue and you're enjoying it, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to let the algorithm know. On top of that, I'm gonna be giving a prize away today. It's not a big one, but it's a start. As this thing continues to grow, I'll give bigger and better prizes. The winner of this video will be receiving an HP 930 Creator wireless mouse. Very reminiscent to the Logitech MX Master, so good luck. All you have to do is vote in the community tab, which I'll post after this video goes live. Now the first setup comes from Cheska, and she has this beautiful but practical, simple white desk setup. The laptop is a MacBook Pro 2017 13 inch, and she has this connected to a LG 29 inch 21 by nine ultra wide monitor. She stayed with the theme of white and got an RK71 white keyboard and a Logitech G304 Lightspeed wireless mouse. This mouse is great, it's pretty affordable, it works well as a desktop mouse, but more importantly, super light to travel with. There's no speakers or headphones, which is kind of concerning because she's using a Bose Soundlink Mini 2. And the thing that kind of scares me or worries me is if she's playing videos, there might be some latency, but for whatever reason, it's working for her. This table is super affordable. And if you just need something clean and simple, you can't go wrong with the Ikea Lindman table. It doesn't cost a lot of money and it works very well. Now her cable management is not perfect, but it's still great, okay? She did the easy way, which is just basically taping, not taping, but zip locking or cable tying all the cables together in one piece and then placing the, the bulk of it, like the bars, the plugs, and even her USB-C hub inside of IKEA Roma cable management box. This is a very simple and clean way to make your desk look good. Now, I don't have a ton of complaints here. You know, I like the little bit of RGB splashing against the back of the wall, which, which warms up her setup. She has a little stand for her smartphone. I wouldn't change a lot. The only things I would change here is maybe take the monitor and place it on a monitor stand. This would give her more depth on her desk to work with. It'd also feel a bit bigger. And I would take her laptop and place it under the desk on some, on some sort of laptop tray because it just feels squished on the back. And the final thing is the garbage. With the amount of leg space she has there, I feel like it's cramped under there. Place the garbage somewhere else in the room, you'll have more leg space, and if you put anything stinky in there, you're not gonna be smelling it while you're working. The next setup comes from Corey, and I absolutely love the way this looks. There's nothing crazy going on here, but I know he's in an attic somewhere, he's away from the rest of the house, he has his own space, and then because the roof is pivoting down, there's some sort of character there, and the fact that the window is dead center with light seeping in and flowing over his desk, gives this space its own unique feel. And I love the fact that he has a bit of paneling in the back to give the room some character. Now this desk is basically two Ikea desks placed together with a bunch of Amazon brackets on the bat bottom, on the bottom to give the illusion that it's floating. And I think that's super cool. Now he has a 2015 MacBook Pro in the back, but he says he mostly uses his iPad and he uses this on the go. He's matching wallpapers with his lava lamp, which is kind of neat. And for the mouse, it's a magic mouse paired with a Logitech MX Master keyboard. Now, the only thing I'm not too crazy about is the cable management. He admits this in his email. He says it's not the best, but trust me, Cora, I've seen a lot worse. There's a few things you can do here. You can buy some sort of cable bar to hold everything in, or I would just get more zip ties and really keep the cables as close to the desk as possible. Like this thing is supposed to float, right? And if you see cables hanging under it, it's gonna kill that illusion. The other thing is the spacing. Like you have your lamp all the way to the left-hand side. I feel like that's not providing you much value when you're working on your, on your computer. Bring it closer, bring it right beside the monitor so you have some light that you can work with when it's at nighttime. The Samsung 27 inch monitor is a good size. Maybe eventually buy a arm for it to place it back more. And this way you can move it out of the way if you want some more light from the window. I like the fact that you have like a cable management tie system at the back that can connects wires to your computer. The only thing is I don't like the fact that your laptop is just sitting there. Either put it on a stand or preferably put it on a rack underneath your table. 
Moving on to Luke, and he has this really cool gaming, streaming vibe going on here. And based on the lights and the microphone and the setup, he's obviously doing a lot of streaming. Now the laptop is a Razer Blade Stealth 13. It's an i7 paired with a GTX 1650 Ti. He's using an eGPU, so the enclosure is the Razer Core X Chroma, and inside of it is an MSI RTX 3070. The keyboard is a Logitech G915, the mouse, the Logitech M705, and the mouse pad is a Razer Goliath Chroma Soft mouse pad. He's obviously a big Razer fan since there's a lot of Razer stuff. Now, for the main monitor, he went with an LG Ultra Gear 27 inch, but for the second monitor, it's a bit different. Like it's a different one, it doesn't match, and it just looks lopsided on the right hand side. When you use a monitor stand and you're using two monitors together, the idea is to get them as close as possible. It doesn't matter if one is in a portrait orientation and the other one is in landscape, you want them as close as possible. Now he does say he's gonna replace the other one with a, uh, another LG Ultra Gear, but I'd probably replace the monitor stand too. It doesn't look like it's holding those monitors properly. The other thing is the speakers. You know, those look like great speakers, but it's just taking up too much space on your desk. It looks like you have space on the wall. Get some speaker mounts, place them above, have them point towards you, and your desk is gonna feel a lot more open. Also, because you have two monitors, I feel like leaving your laptop open for a third one, is really not providing you much value, right? Like you have enough screen real estate, get rid of it, you know? Get rid of the laptop arm, take the laptop, put it in the laptop tray underneath the desk or put it in a laptop stand. This will give you more space on the left-hand side and you can place your Razer Core X Chroma in a vertical orientation. I think the desk will look a lot cleaner. Now, the last and final setup comes from someone named Clayton. This man's an engineer, he teaches, he games, he probably solves world problems because this setup is absolutely bonkers. I call it the ultimate battle station, but I feel like he walked into a Best Buy and the rep said, how many computers do you need? And he just looked him straight in the eye and said, yes, because this is insane. He swears that he uses everything. And I'm gonna start with the main desk, which is using a 65 inch LG C9, okay, this is a, OLED display, it's a great display. This is on top of an Ikea TV stand and it's flanked by two LG 48 inch CX TVs. Now these are hooked up to the same Alienware Aurora R9, there's two of them, and he says he had to buy a pre-build system the first time for him because the GPU shortage was so bad that it just ended up being worth it. He does have a Surface Pro 7 in the back, which he has Synergy going on from his desktop to control it and he holds all his meetings and teachings from this main setup. Now he has five Logitech Brio webcams hooked up to the desktop, as well as a Yeti X microphone. The multiple cameras are for different angles if he needs to switch to different PCs during a workshop or meeting. He uses OBS to control all of it. The left desk, the one with the three monitors and three laptops, is what he typically uses for long gaming sessions. How many laptops do you need to use to game? And he says again that he runs Synergy to control all of those laptops with one keyboard and mouse. Sometimes the gaming laptops will have a game running in the background or some Linux containers running workloads he's testing for work. The right desk is typically where his Mac work is done. Occasionally he'll use PBP mode, picture, some sort of picture mode on the Dell 49 inch monitor to have both his desktop and M1 MacBook Air on the display. Now this cable management is obviously not the best. There's just so many cables to work with that having these perfectly tidy would be a nightmare. Like he even has a server in the back room with a 10980XE with 256 gigabytes of RAM. Like if I was to be stuck in a house for a long period of time, I I'm moving in with Clayton. So that wraps up the top laptop setups for episode number two. Again, if you like the video, don't forget to hit the like button. And if you want to vote on the best laptop setup, I'm going to be posting a community post on my YouTube channel where you guys can select the winner. I'm going to announce the winner on Instagram, Instagram stories specifically. So make sure to follow me there to find out who the winner is. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, hit the like button. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.